Hey, what's going on guys? It's Obdizer here with a new episode of Boom Beach from Let's Attack series. Okay guys, first of all, I'm so sorry that I couldn't record or upload any video in this past week because guys, I'm so busy with my college because, you know guys, I'm taking now 20.5 credits and the maximum is 20 credits, so that's a lot. I have a lot of homework, so it's almost 4 hours of homework a day, so... I didn't have the time to record but I will try my best to do many videos like more than one videos a week I know this is the this is one I did one video per week but I'm so sorry guys for that okay guys anyways you can as you can see guys I did many changes happened in my boom beach real account base so my first account okay I had the warriors and as you know from the from the title we will know that we will do warrior strategy Okay, the warrior raid. So I had the iron now and I upgraded my defenders and I did many things because it's almost past a month I didn't record, I didn't upload any video from this series. So yeah, I, I played a lot of Boom Beach and I had a lot of things. And my level is now 25, I guess. Okay, so this is the first base. I know it's too low level base at 17 and I'm 25 and as you can see just has four sniper tower and they are very low level so I just wanted to show you how to use the warriors and what do they do well as you know guys well if you have the warriors you definitely know that the warriors are so unique because like they heal themselves so even if you don't put a mid kit well it will it will never be a problem because they can normally if they, their health is decreasing while hitting anything in the base they automatically increase their health so that's what I like in the warriors well they are the most unique uh, the most unique troops that I've seen until now so yeah that's the best thing of warriors okay see now I will raid another raid so that I want to do more than raid so that I want to see to show you how how the warriors are working okay so the the last base that I just seen I didn't attack it because like I'm like the the cannon are so strong so they are the weaknesses of the warriors I think the cannon and the machine gun so and the best thing in the warriors that what I like in warriors that if I see a rocket launcher now I don't fear from it because the warriors it doesn't it don't it doesn't affect the warriors at all well it does but not as much as it kills the zookas or riflemen so that's the best thing of the warriors however the warriors the warriors dive quickly from the cannon and from the machine gun so when i had the artillery i first destroyed the cannon as you can see then but now i must three i must use three times artillery so after that I put the oh I forgot the name of this thing uh, the ch the charger or something yeah I forgot the name well well because the names are more difficult than clash or maybe because I used to clash so okay never mind and as you can see guys well my goal in the beginning is to defeat the is to destroy the cannons and then I usually like to go to the headquarter because while hitting the headquarter they normally increase the, their health and for more for more like it's better to not if you want them to not they just put the medkit in there so I've seen many videos of people doing like there's like a smoke if you put in smoke with the warriors but I don't have this yet well the none of the defend none of the defenders can attack while there's a smoke in front of a troops while smoke because covering the troops so I still don't have this I wish I had it so yeah and now I'm I will see this base well this is 20 level base so I see this base is good but because it just has two two cannons and I can normally destroy the first one so and if I see many troops, I just put this charger thing. I forgot the name. Okay. And I like to put it in front of the machine gun because the mortar and the sniper tower 
are not so effective for the warriors. So, yeah. So I like to use it just in the machine gun. But they still destroy the machine gun quickly. But the machine gun still can kill them quickly as well. So yeah, that's the problem. And then as you can see guys, they normally go to the headquarters. That's the best thing of Boom Beach. While defeating the headquarters, you can defeat the whole base. Because the whole base will destroy. So not like Clash. Okay, so I think this will be the last trade because since I did three raids and oh again this raid thing I did three raids and my irons are maxed now also my woods so yeah I don't I don't I don't know what to do well why why should I raid again okay so I'm thinking to upgrade something so I'm thinking to do the armory in order to upgrade the warriors so that I can defeat higher level bases as you can see guys even level 22 I still fear from them because I know I'm level 25 but so for that I will just upgrade this one in order to upgrade my warriors to level 2 or 3 I forgot what their level are 2 I think okay now I will do this thing the diving thing yeah so that's it guys for this episode I hope you enjoy watching this video don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you didn't yet for more Boom Beach Let's Attack video. Okay guys, thanks for watching and see you later.